In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to transfer crypto assets onto the Weeks crypto exchange. If you haven't created an account on Weeks just yet, I left you a link in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment down below. If you use my link when signing up, you'll save 15% on all your taker orders for the lifetime of your account. So anytime you're using a market order, you'll save 15% on all your trading fees. Weeks is also often running promotions for people who are signing up for the first time. These can be deposit bonuses, airdrops, mystery boxes, giveaways, and more. So if you use my link when creating your account, you'll save 15% on all your market orders and be eligible for the current promotion, whatever that might be by the time you're watching this video. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto exchange, including Weeks. Let's get into the video. To deposit assets onto the platform, you can do that from the home page by clicking here on deposit now, or you can come up here top right hand side to your profile icon and then click on deposit this drop down menu. This will bring you over to the crypto deposit form. The first thing you need to do is choose the token you wish to deposit by clicking right here. Then you can select a crypto from this drop down menu or you can search for one of the search bar. Tether works perfectly fine for me, so I'll leave this set to USDT. Next, you'll need to select a network. You'll be able to see all your networks right here. And some of these are faster and less in fees than others. But the big thing is you want to make sure that you match the network to wherever you're sending the crypto from. You don't want to send from one network and into another or you will lose your coins forever. So just make sure wherever you're sending the crypto from that you match the network to the network that you're using here on the Weeks Exchange. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and use the BEP20 BSC, which is the Binance chain, by simply clicking on it. Once you choose the crypto you wish to deposit, as well as the network that you'll be using, simply come down here and click where it says Get Deposit Address. Then Weeks is going to generate a deposit address for the crypto as well as the network. And you'll be able to see it in this little box down below Deposit Address. Now, if you're going to be sending crypto from Coinbase, you'll need to come up where it says Send and Receive, Make sure the form is set to send, then choose the crypto that you wish to send over to Weeks. On the next steps, make sure to choose the correct network. So match the network on Coinbase to the network that you selected on Weeks. If you're using the Kraken Exchange, click where it says Transfer, then choose Withdrawal. After that, choose the crypto you wish to send over to Weeks, and once again, make sure to match the network. If you're using Binance or a major exchange just like Binance, you'll usually find the crypto withdraw button on the dashboard of the platform. Once you're on the dashboard of the platform, click on withdraw and that'll take you over to the crypto withdrawal form. Then from there, choose the crypto you wish to send and choose the correct network. Remember, you want to match the network on both sides of this. If you send crypto from one network and into another, you will lose your coins permanently. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to send a little bit of Tether from a MetaMask wallet and onto the Weeks platform. So now that I have my deposit address, I'm going to copy it by clicking on these two little boxes right here. Now my deposit address is copied. So now I'm going to come up here top right hand side and click on the MetaMask icon in my browser. Then my wallet's going to drop down. And I can see that my wallet is currently set to the Ethereum network. And I have a little bit of Tether on the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Ethereum logo here, and then I'm going to choose BNB Chain. Now I've toggled the wallet to the Binance Chain, which matches the network that I selected over here on Weeks. So now I'm ready to send some Tether from the MetaMask wallet onto the Weeks platform. So I'm going to come down here, click on Tether, click on Send. Now I'm going to paste in my Weeks deposit address for Tether on the Binance chain into this box right here. Now I can choose how much Tether I wish to send. And I just have a small amount here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Max to send all of it. Now I'm going to come down here and click on Continue. Now I can review my transaction. I can see that I'm about to send 100 Tether, and I can see the estimated fee is about 12 cents worth of BNB. Now I'm using a self-custody hot wallet, which means that the transaction fee is paid for out of the native token for the network that I'm using. So in my case here, I'm using the Binance chain and the native token is BNB. So in order to send this tether from MetaMask and onto Weeks, 
I need to pay this fee out of my BNB balance that I hold inside of MetaMask. If I was using the Ethereum mainnet, the native token would be Ethereum, so I'd need Ethereum inside my MetaMask wallet on the Ethereum mainnet to cover the gas fee. So this fee looks fine to me, so I'm going to come down here and click on confirm. Transaction is now pending, and now it is confirmed. So that Tether is on its way from my MetaMask wallet onto the Weeks platform over the Binance Smart Chain. Now here's a quick tip. If it's your first time depositing assets onto the platform, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives as intended, you can have the confidence to send in a larger amount. I'll also mention that if you don't already have a MetaMask wallet, it is a free hot wallet. And I do have full step-by-step -step beginner tutorials on how to set it up as an extension on your browser, as well as how to use it as a mobile app. And in those videos, I cover a variety of things that you can do with a MetaMask wallet. So I'll leave a link to those videos in the description down below for anyone that might be interested. Now we can see down here under deposit history that my tether has now arrived on the platform. And this can take a little bit of time. The Binance chain is pretty quick. So in this particular situation, that took less than about a minute. Once your crypto arrives on the platform, you can find it in your spot wallet. From the deposit form, you can come over here and click on asset overview. And the other option is to come up here to your profile icon and just simply click on your balance right here. And this will bring you to your asset overview. And if you look right down here, you can see the tether has arrived on the platform. Here's where you can also find your different internal accounts. So you can see that I'm set to spot account, but you also have a futures account here and you have your futures pro account here. Now, if you're interested in learning how to trade futures, check out my week's step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to trade futures. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing on spot. So we'll go ahead and click here on spot account. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer crypto assets onto the Week Crypto Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other week's tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.